It's that time of the year again. School is starting back up. But luckily for me, I don't have school no more. And no, it's not because I graduated. It's because I actually dropped out my freshman year. But let me tell you why I actually dropped out freshman year. That's because during the time, I was actually in a pretty bad place in my mind. It, it was not good at all. And, um, you know, it just wasn't doing me any good being at that school that I was at. A whole lot of stuff was just going on in my life. So the only option for me was to drop out, unfortunately. I told myself that when I would drop out, that I would achieve my GED, which three, four years later, I still haven't gotten. But I'm going to do that now. I'm going to be getting my GED, and I'm going to try to make my future somewhat better for myself. I, can't, I, I really do regret dropping out because I'm not going to have that experience of high school. Because I only had half a year of experience, because I dropped out like around February or so, I think. And it was a pretty kind of a late dropout, but... Nevertheless, it still it still sucks that I dropped out. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like some kind of idiot and don't know crap because I'm really smart. I'm, I'm a talented kid. Not to sound cocky of myself, but it's true. I really am. I just don't show it in school. Because honestly, school is just like... It, it's really complicated nowadays. They just expect so much out of you and... It's, it's pretty ridiculous at what they want from you. Like, school is more about testing now than really anything. If they were to actually sit down and teach you what you need to know, school would be a whole lot better. It really would. Because all they do now is just test and test. And honestly, school is just memorization more than learning. Because they just force you to memorize stuff, and you're not learning anything from that. You just have to, you just have to force your brain to memorize something, but you're not actually holding that information together in your head so I mean once you know your stuff it's like this is gone because like you take your test or whatever you memorized everything you do good but then like you just forget everything that you memorized but I mean no one really likes school you can say that you like school but honestly you, there's this part of you that really doesn't like school I enjoyed school like in my 8th grade year 8th grade year was probably the best year for me it was just it was a fun year, honestly. It was just, like, really, really fun. A lot of good memories coming out of 8th grade years, some of which I did not want to have experienced. So if I was still in school right now, I'd be in my senior year. That's the year that everybody looks up to because it's, like, it's the, just the biggest year for your life. And in a way, I kind of am getting to experience um, senior year because my girlfriend, she's starting tomorrow. This is actually her first day of her senior year, which is, it's pretty exciting. I'm excited for her, and she's just excited, I bet. But, you know, I get to experience it with her because, like, prom, dances, and stuff like that, which, I mean, I'm not really looking forward to, but, you know, you gotta make your girlfriend happy. You just gotta do it. And unfortunately, I can't, I can't make her happy with how good I am in games, but, you know, she has standards, I guess. 